Okay, I'm back. Uh, what was I talking about doing? <laughs> now I've forgotten. I got all distracted by uh, my brewing up some tea. That is too damn hot to drink yet. Um, the things we were going to work on. Get our food and water taken care of first. Oh, it's so nice to be able to just... Slam this stuff down and not have to worry about going to collect it or all that good stuff. Pimping the ride. I need to do the reading first. I've got to do some reading. Uh, we've got that book that I need to get my mechanic skill up to eight. Because we're going to go around and have to repair all the armor plating. And I'm going to rip some more off the APC uh, for some spare. Just in case we strip some off while we're driving around. So we do need to get that done very first thing. So we're going to do a couple of in-game days of reading. Uh, probably gonna end up needing some more firewood here pretty soon. I don't have a lamp or anything. I don't have any skill to build a um, atomic lamp or the book to do it. So we'll probably have to go get some two by fours here pretty soon. Um, for the moment, though, let's just get the fire going and let's yeah, let's just read. We got what? A couple levels to go still. All right, there we go. Mechanics 8. Probably as high as I'll take it, unless it levels up on its own while I'm working with all that uh, armor. Uh, so that's done. Next up. Now 3 p.m. Tired, hungry again. Uh, cook up some more water. <laughs> cook it up. Do, do, do. Let's do 17. Drink two, pour the rest in the jug. I'll try to rip through this as quick as possible. The regulars have seen me do this a number of times. Yummy tea. My morale is going up. I'm getting the tea bonus. Hey, puppy dog. Want a cracker? The answer was yes. Puppy dog did want a cracker. Alright, let's do some good deconstruction. I don't need light for that. I think I'll do it all back here. Can I grab the trash can? Okay, what's coming out? Trunks are coming out. And... Seats coming out. Oh, somebody's in my workshop. Drop the spare backpack while I'm doing this. Really? What am I carrying? It's taking up so much space. Hmm. I guess I am carrying a bit. Got me in my left foot. All right, where were we? Uh, I think we're up to the seat. And gonna take out the mounted M60. I have no use for that. We're gonna replace it with an M2. I uh, don't need the aisle. That's done. Don't need the seat here either. And I don't need the front seat. Oh, that's right. I need a couple extra diesel tanks. All right, so I'll have to grab a couple of tanks as well. All right, there's the random raw materials from there. We got it pretty well stripped down. I'm going to leave in the UPS recharging station. I might re-UPSify some items. Um, trying to remember, can you remove the box and replace that with a cargo space? Will it work? I guess we'll find out. I might have to get one more cargo space. Uh, let's go get some tanks, though. You got one? You've got... 
two completely full storage batteries. Well, that is handy. I'll be back for that. You've got two tanks. Perfect. Give me tanks. Mm, where are you hiding the other one? Unload gas. More on the ground. Oops. <laughs> That's fine. I needed the cargo carriers over here anyway. Uh, so, I need to get the welding rig in. To do that, I'm going to need the makeshift welder. Then I need to get the storage batteries in. And for that... See, I'm never going to remove them. I don't care if they have holders or not. Alright, let's see here. Let's go get the two completely full ones from this thing. Yep, for that, I need the crane. Come here, crane! Remove battery. I have a tool with lifting, but the tool has to be in line of sight of the place that I'm going to do it from. Remove. Ah, oh, sure. Grab the case, I guess. What the heck. Alright, so we got the batteries in the cases. I already pulled the solar panels, so let's just drag all of this stuff back. All right, so we've got random stuff. Two full storage batteries, two cases. They're ready to go in. Um, hope I have enough battery power for the welder, the portable welder. Grab that. Reload it. All right, batteries are fine right here. Uh, no. Oh, I need my welding thing again. Do I not have my... I don't. Come here, with clips glasses. I keep forgetting. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, throw in the case. Throw in the battery, and once again, I've got to get this thing in range, and that means I also need... Eh, what a pain in the butt. Can I do it from here? Can I see everything? It's going to count? Yes, cool. Alright, next one. Case. Uh, builder. That's two. I'd like to get one more in there. Uh, that's not fork. Drag. Alright, uh, I need one more battery to install in there. Whoops! Oh, that's the standard car battery I was looking at. We won't need that anymore. Uh, now I need to get the welding rig in. Hey you! Oops. Remove welding rig! Alright, that's going right here. Okay, we're now home free. Welding rig is in. We have mammoth amounts of power with which to weld, so all other welding problems have now been solved. Let's go ahead and install the tanks. Um, yeah, outside edges are fine. Where are they currently? There's one, there's the other. All right, they're under the seats. We'll put the backups out here.
All right, so we've got four tanks. We're going to fill two of them with diesel. We'll fill one with clean water, and the fourth one we'll leave open and available for whatever uses occur to me as I'm driving around. Either Drew Cap. Yeah, I've just got the one more uh, that I want to get installed. So go ahead and get that one out of here. Uh, uh, grab. <laughs> We'll bring it over here and do it. Remove. And right there, install. Alright, and then remove car battery. There we go. Perfect. Triple full storage batteries is all the power I will ever, ever need with huge redundancy. So, yay. Uh, don't need the... Do I need that still? Uh, don't need the makeshift welder anymore. Drop this back here among the junk. All right, next up. Kitchen unit's going in right behind the driver's seat. All right, kitchen unit's in. Um, next up, it's going to be... Oh yeah, I'm just going to save this. I'm going to put a cargo space in here now, but it's going to get ripped out and replaced eventually, hopefully with a freezer. Um, but for now, we'll go ahead and throw a kitchen unit in there. Or, or, I mean, a cargo space. So, install cargo. Install cargo. Alright, there we go. One, two, three, four, five cargo spaces. And then the question I had was can I remove this box and replace it with a cargo? Yes, I can. And still have access to the UPS compatible. Cool. Even better. So essentially, we'll at the end of this, once we get the freezer in here, we'll have one, two, three, four, five cargo spaces. More than enough, by quite a margin. I'm not going to be packing around all that much raw material from here forward. There just won't really be much for me to craft. Um, we better go sleep now, though. We're famished, dehydrated, and tired after all that welding. But, um, yeah, that's a large part of what I needed to get done right there. Make sure all the doors are closed up. And have some more of our 500 smoked meat. Meat, meat, more meat. Off to sleep we go. <laughs> maple syrup tank. Yeah, that's a possibility. We could do a maple syrup tank if we come across the sugar house. Either that or make it full of uh, what? Nah, purifier wouldn't be useful. Mutagens wouldn't be useful given what we're going for this run. <laughs> And everything's frozen, that's fine. Okay, so we will um, pull up next to that pond at the house just northeast of us and uh, craft up water until we fill one tank. And then we'll drive around looking for military vehicles, both to get diesel and to get the uh, M2 installed right in the space where I'm standing. Once that's in, we'll be able to fire it from the controls of the vehicle as we're driving. Uh, and that'll help us take down skeletal juggernauts and... Shocker brutes and annoying crap as we're driving around. I'm not going to install any solar, anything. I just, lately, last couple times I've built this vehicle, I've had no need for it. I just discovered driving around. The small amount of power you use for welding is easily offset by the alternator charging the uh, batteries back up again. Um, so, I think I'm just going to do a quick round of full welding of this thing to get it repaired up. 
So I'm just gonna start tapping the R key. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, that's right. I need super glue and duct tape for these odd parts. Otherwise, it's gonna keep slowing me down. I don't think. Aren't I missing something to do that? I can't remember. I know I can do super glue. So let's do a batch of super glue. Let's do oh, 10 super glue. I don't think I have the, the duct tape book. Yeah, I can't do duct tape yet. Either that or I'm missing the uh, cooking skill for it. I can't remember what it runs, what it's off of recipe wise. I think it's a book that I'm missing. But super glue will work for some of the repairs. So we'll just start quick tapping the R key. <laughs> Do to do to do do to do to do. This works great when you only have the welder nearby. You don't have a bunch of other welding ones that you have to constantly be picking which thing you want to weld with. <laughs> so I can just power through this full repair of the vehicle. And you'll see how much battery it uses to repair the entire thing. <laughs> Alright, we're famished. I should probably eat here. We got quite a bit done though. We're still only down 16% of that one battery. And this is from a, not wrecked, but a completely, I mean, whole bunches of it were needing repair. It'll never be in that bad a condition again. So kind of gives you an idea just how little you need actually. Okay, let's do a little more. Oh, so we're missing armor plating there. Can't do anything about that until I get more. You're dead tired yet? Not quite yet. Pretty soon I should probably sleep. Even if we aren't done. Alright, are we done? Are we done done? Everything? Oh, nope. Oh, yeah, those it wants me to pull out to repair. Which I should probably do while I have the opportunity. Everything else I think is completely green. We're just missing one piece of composite armor plating. Right there, one piece of composite armor plating and uh, rip out and repair these storage batteries real quick, which will be easy. And um, yeah, it's fully repaired. Go ahead and take a nap again. As far as I know, no. The UPS recharger, even when turned on, does not drain power. Unless there's actual items in it that are recharging off of it. Okay, so we need some armor. And I need a little bit extra so we can uh, have some spares. Of zombies out and about. Hey zombies, where are you guys all hanging out at? All coming in from the north. All right, let's go deal with them. Bring me my Halligan bar. You did not bring me my Halligan bar. Uh, we'll take the noise canceling. Yeah, I don't care about the rest. All right, I think we're clear enough. Or not. <laughs> Whoops. Beating him to death with the noise canceling headphones. Not the best idea. Alright, armor. Remove. Come on, where's the good stuff? Damaged all the way around? Really? There's some. 
it'll be fairly easy for us to come across more later if I happen to need any. I think that's probably enough. That gives me three spares if I rip some off. Pressing R gives me a no damage parts on this vehicle message. It is 100% green, except for those two things, which we're going to go fix right now. Should be able to do it from here. So, we're going to remove you and remove you. Uh, let go of that. I need my soldering iron, which wandered off on me. Reload the soldering iron. And I need a light for that. Alright, fine, be that way. I <laughs> lost the light again. Stop it! Alright, both of these are now fixed. Throw them back in. good to go. So we used, what, 21% of a single swappable storage battery to go from the most messed up the vehicle will likely ever be to completely full. And I've got three full storage batteries just in case. So unless I install a fusion cannon on this thing, there's no way I'll ever run out of battery charge. And my driving around with the alternator is going to get them recharged anyway. So we should be good to go. All right, so get that back here for the moment. Um, next up, don't mind me just giving my zombie dog a stare down. He's trying to inch his way over to the cookies. Sorry, buddy. Uh, all right, let's do this first. What else do I put on this? So the M2. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really do much else to it. This does everything I need it to do. I'll have plenty of storage space for the little that I do decide to carry with me. It's mostly going to be tools and other gear. It's not going to be much of the really heavy, bulky, random items I can get anywhere. As a muffler. <laughs> I'm not sure if multiple mufflers actually do anything. Let's go take a look outside real quick, though. Anything else that I would like from the APC? We've got a spare tire, in case we blow one off on a landmine. I don't need any of the frames or any of this other random stuff. 
If I was really froggy, I could grab the 200 liter external tank and turn it into a 200 liter internal tank. <laughs> yeah, I did swap the box out, so we've got a cargo space on the UPS charging station. We're not going to bother doing that, though. It's not necessary. So, I can't think of anything in the back half of this I might care about. We've already got a turret mount for the uh, M2 we'll install. That's all I'm ever going to need for that. We've got... I won't need cameras. I'm not going to deal with any of the camera crap. Ooh, headlights. Let's grab a couple of spares on the headlights. And actually a spare on the windshield, too. I think that's the only windshield in this thing. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll grab another alternator. I think that's it. If I come across a uh, V12 engine, I could swap that out, but I don't really ever notice a difference. I don't drive fast enough or care enough. Hey there, Cyrillac. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Wing mirrors. Um, yeah, this vehicle doesn't have them. I can grab them off of something else. Let's get this stuff back there first before I forget about it. I'll have to do a careful check of everything. I'll just stack everything up back here and we'll refigure it. Uh, this doesn't have wing mirrors. It's not wing mirrors so much that I use, it's the inline mirrors. What does this thing have? Does it use mirrors of any kind? Headlights, frames, windshields. No, it doesn't show any. I don't think that truck does either. Headlights will come across pretty easily, so I'm not too worried about it. I want the reinforced windshield, so I don't want the regular stuff. Yeah, don't need anything from here either. I think I've got everything I need from all this stuff. Let's get this thing out of the way. Hello. <laughs> that looked kind of funny. Oh, almost forgot my, my butchering rack and stuff. Whoops, what am I leaving behind? Leaving behind a almost completely full storage battery. That's, that's, ah, ah. <laughs> leaving behind solar panels, ah. Well, a solar panel. That's all fine. Alright, we'll leave that there for the moment. Um, yeah, what else have I got laying around down here? Don't care, don't care. Don't care. Oh, there's... Why are there plastic bowls down there? I could have used those for the crafting of my, uh, my item. Hmm. All right, don't think any, any, eh, I don't see anything just laying around on the ground out here I care about. Smoking racks, we'll just wave goodbye to. We'll build new ones if we ever decide that we need some more. <clears throat> um, vehicle. What? <laughs> oh, that's right. There was welding rigs at both locations. I had taken the one apart at the other uh, the other junkyard and put it in the back of this one. Uh, I don't need any of this stuff. Nope. The only thing I won't have installed is the forge, but I so seldom use the forge, it doesn't really make that big a difference. I'll just keep batteries on hand and use the portable one for the few times I need it. Yeah, Canuke, I don't... I mean, the folding shopping cart's cool and all, and I've shown people how to build it, but I almost never use shopping carts. Even when I'm running around cities, I just... 
They slow me down, they tend to get smashed up by the zombies nowadays, and I just think they're not worth the effort, mostly. There are certain occasions where I'll use one, but I just... No, I've just kind of moved away from using the folding shopping carts or shopping carts in general. We'll have the uh, the electric forge in case we need it. Um, but I think vehicle-wise, we're pretty much set with what I can do currently. I don't have the browning. Can't do much about that until we find a vehicle. Don't have the mini freezer. Gonna have to wait on that. I don't need a chemistry station. That's why I went with the RV kitchen unit, because we're not doing general mutations. We're doing uh, just the micus which overwrites the other mutation lines, so there's no point in doing any of those. Um, so I do want to fill the tank up. Let's get that done real quick. Let's let's drive this thing out. Whoops, let's not drive this thing out. <laughs> hey, door. Open. Now let's drive this thing out. And I want to siphon the gas out of... That. Actually, no. I want to siphon out of the Humvee first. Siphon that one. No, actually, both of those are going to have gas, so that's okay. Alright, never mind. Siphon. Alright, so, got all the gas. That gives us almost... A little over 20 liters, so that's plenty for us to be able to find some more somewhere. Um, yeah, let's go do that other thing real quick. We're just going to go pull up right next to the water, right here at the pond. A little more south, that'll be close enough. Alright, stop driving. Up here, and no zombies nearby. 4 p.m. We might get it done before we, uh... Oh, you bastard. You're gonna make me go have a, uh, secondary container before I can put it into the trunk, or into the vehicle. That's annoying. That's annoying. You're annoying me, game. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, da, 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 da. Throw that back on. Alright, let's try this again. After wasting a bit of time... Repeat. And we lost the light. How much did we get? Three batches, 25 liters, so not quite halfway done. That's fine. We'll finish the rest later. Enough for the immediate use. Alright, we got a little bit of water in. We'll finish it up and then we get a little bit more daylight for that part of it. Um, next thing I need to work on though. Let's do... I want 
want to that one over there. All right, food and water are taken care of again. Let's see. Next thing I need to decide on. Um, where are we at for tailoring? We're at 19%. Oh, that's right. I got a ton of chitin, didn't I? We can probably just level off a chitin. We can also do some of the early survivor stuff. So I have to make my decision on what I'm going to do with survivor stuff. And it's going to depend on how much duct tape I have since I can't actually make it. Ooh, I don't have nearly enough duct tape. Eh, crap. Hey there, Mars Wood. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, chitin armor is pretty cool. Depends on how early you can get to it. Let's take a look. So there's the full chitin armor. 15 chunks of chitin, a couple of long string. But, I mean, difficulty 7 tailoring, that's pretty high. <laughs> but, I mean, 12, 16 for 10 encumbrance is pretty good. But it's torso and legs, and only 10 warmth. So, leg and body armor made from exoskeletons of insects, light and durable. I mean, it's pretty cool stuff, but it's got a fairly high level. I mean, you could be wearing survivor gear for that difficulty. So, uh, it's good, but I don't know if it's that good. 12, 16, that's about the equivalent of full survivor gear. So, survivor suit, for example gives you uh, 812, so it's even more than a standard survivor. It's not gonna be more than the heavy. Um, and it's less encumbrance. So, I mean, it's good stuff, but you're not getting all of the, com the, the coverage locations. I didn't look at the coverage. Was it 100%? I'll have to look. I mean, Survivor Gear's biggest benefits are it's 100% for the encumbrance and the protection and all the secondary benefits um, makes it what's really really good about it nope just kite yeah kite in this armor so it's only 90 percent coverage that 10 percent can be a huge deal so if that's all you can get and you can't put together a survivor suit go for it i mean it's pretty cool otherwise really good protection factors it would, would basically make you immune to most standard zombies um and it has some acid and environmental protection. And at least the helmet does. Chitinous arm guard sounds fun. Compared to... I'll have to compare that to my metal. I might make one of those. So 9, 12, 10 encumbrance, 90 coverage. So a little bit less bash, but 10% better coverage and less encumbrance. Yeah, I think I'll go with the chitinous arm guards. That sounds fun. Let's get rid of those. And let's do some uh, chitin arm guards. <laughs> hey there, Fierce. Not sure what you're trying to time that one against. Me just sitting here looking at the crafting menu. <laughs> um, Yeah, let's do that one, though. Let's do uh, long strings fine. Cool. Well, where are chitinous arm guards? That'll drop the arm encumbrance by 5 and increase the coverage by 10 for just a little bit less of the bash protection. So that's a good trade all the way around. Oh, and <laughs> take number one slot. I see. I see how you are. <laughs>
Chitin armor kit. Oh, this is for a vehicle, isn't it? Yeah, light chitin plating for a vehicle. No idea if the chitin for a vehicle would be worth it. Not sure how that one rates. But we're not really looking at that. I think I had decided on going with the light survivor gear. So for the suit, I just need some rags. And I need not to fail. But we're one level up plus a decent intelligence, so we're not likely to fail the suit. So I'll be combining the suit with the chainmail, especially if I can get it fitted. If I can get light survivor suit plus the chainmail fitted, that's only 17 total in armor encumbrance for torso, arms, and legs. And the chainmail would cover the head. So that's going to be pretty, pretty good stuff. Um, so I think I will go with the light survivor suit. And mask. The hood, there's no particular reason to go with the light. Because hood head encumbrance, unless they've changed it again somewhat semi-recently, hood head encumbrance doesn't mean anything. So we'll hold out for the heavy on that. Um, but I might go with the gloves and everything else. So let's plan on going to grab some rags, make sure we have what we need, and we'll put together some of this stuff. Duct tape's what I'm worried about, though. 100 duct tape, 80 duct tape. I've got like 300, <laughs> so uh, we'll see if I've got enough to get all the pieces put together without failing anything. Um, yeah, let's do that. That's the next big part, get our, uh, our armor and stuff put together. Don't want to go in there. I could, but there's no reason to. All right, wield, uh, activate, oh, whoops, I got two, two of those things on now, so that's not good. And I think I'll end up dragging these back. take forever because five minutes per space fine probably faster for me to do it the other way or to even drive a vehicle up there oops crap <laughs> didn't mean to step on that space and again heck all of it all right so we got some rags 